Hello and welcome guys, so this is a quick tutorial on uh, a quick way of achieving snow, dirt, uh, moss and rust in your scenes. So for this what I'll do is I'll right click, make a new material, I'll just call this tutorial. Then we double click and open this. Now I'll be using the um, starter content for this so you guys can easily um, achieve the same results. First I'll just add a, uh, press S and left click to add a uh, scalar parameter. Connect that to roughness and call this roughness. And then I'll press T and left click down here. Now here I'll use a noise. So I'll type um, P-E-R-L-I-N. Just choose the first texture that um, comes up. Now we'll place the texture here, but I'll press T again. And this time I'll search for the grass from the starter content. So the T grouse, uh, ground grass D, we'll place that here. And now we'll press L and left click right here. We'll uh, plug the grass into B. The, our, um, our texture sample, the noise that we have, we'll plug that into the alpha. And we'll press V and left click to bring a vector parameter. And we'll plug that into A. Now we can call this our color. And now we can plug this into our base color. Now we can add um, a bit more um, adjustments to this to make it work slightly differently. So first thing we'll do is we'll press U and left click to add a texture coordinate and we'll press M to multiply. We'll connect this multiply into the UV and we'll press S to control the UV which means we can control how much this texture is actually tiled. So changing the value on this will, will have an effect down here. Next thing we can do is we can also choose uh, what type of, uh, what color grass we can have or what color, um, whichever sample you guys have here that you guys want to use, we'll press M here, we'll connect this here, we'll press left click, uh, sorry, V and left click, and we'll click, uh, connect that in here, and then I'll call this grass color. Now we can connect this into B instead of that. Now we'll save this. Now we can go ahead, uh, right click on our material and create material instance. This material instance we can drag onto the floor. We can double click to open our material instance. And we can just uh, make this slightly bigger. Now for the first color we can choose, let's say if we to choose something white. Now for our grass color we can choose a green color. And in the UV we can turn this up to 1. And now as you guys can see, you guys have a quick effect where actually even if you choose a white color, it should still be okay. Where there's actually a lot of snow on the ground, and you, but you can still see part of your grass. Now adjusting the UV value will determine how much snow you actually have on the ground. And how much the grass actually tiles up on that. So for, for example now, um, there's more snow, but there's also uh, you can also see the grass quite a bit. So we can control that value down here. Also, what we can also do is, um, rather than having snow, let's say you wanted dirt. So in that case, we'll just change the uh, this color to orange. And now you have a lot of dirt on your um, grass. We can also turn up the um, roughness value down here as well, up to 1 or 0, um, depending on the type of scene or look you're trying to achieve. But 1 would probably work um, quite nicely. So we can change this color and we can also change the color of our grass to, so let's say, red. So if you were to have a white color here, we have a red, um, kind of like a forest ground below, as you guys can see. So this is a um, quick way of um, achieving this. So now here I have an uh, example of a statue. Now this statue, um, if I was to open the material for this, this is made by um, um, Epic Games, I believe, and I, uh, it, it comes for free, so you, uh, you guys can search on the Learn tab. So if you were to find the material for this, for example, this material right here, now to add um, a little moss to it, I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. I don't really uh, need this stuff right now. I'm just going to move this stuff up. So we can use the same um, procedure. What we can do is we can le uh, press L to and left click here. We can press T and left click here. And we can press T once again and left click here. So this T can go into alpha and we can find our noise. So we'll connect that down there. But this one can go into B and we'll find our grass. And this one can go into A, and we can connect this into the base color. Now as you guys can see, we have this um, mossy grass um, across the texture. 
So now we'll do is I'll go ahead and make the same um, lerp modules. Sorry, not lerp. I'll um, press U and left click. So press U and left click down here. I'm just going to delete this one. Press M and left click and press S and left click. So this will scale our UV. We can uh, collect that in there and connect this in here. What we can also do is we can actually go to, we can search MOS here and then we can type um, starter and it should bring up the MOS from the um, starter content. Now, as you guys can see, we have a mossy texture on the statue. So now if you were to click apply, We can minimize this, we can right click on the uh, on the material, create material instance, you can drag this onto the statue, and we can double click to open this. Now if you go close to the texture, so uh, to the um, statue, as you guys can see the statue has a moss texture um, along um, different places. So now we can actually change the UV to adjust how much moss is actually on the um, on the statue, for example, if I have to turn this up to 10, you can see there's a lot of um, different mossy areas around the texture. And then I can turn this up to 1, you can see there's, uh, there's big patches of moss now. So I hope you guys um, found this somewhat useful. Um, let me know in the comments if you find it useful, and thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.